There's one underutilized campaign type that could unlock some massive returns on your ad dollars, especially if you're into wholesale and you're running multiple brands or even in private label or you're running one brand but there's multiple SKUs. This is going to be a great way for you to harvest additional sales at an extremely low cost. I'm gonna show you my account here and if we take a look at it, here's an auto campaign. Now you already know, you already are familiar with auto campaigns, I'm sure. But this is a low bid strategy auto campaign that I've set up across my entire catalog of 700 SKUs or 500 SKUs. Actually, as you can see on the screen, it's 730 different products that I'm running a low bid auto campaign. And you can actually see the return on our investment. I spent only $2.59 yesterday and it generated $352.19 in sales. So that's a 135x return on investment for the auto campaign low bid on Amazon. So this strategy is really good. And actually, you know, I've always run auto campaigns over the years, but I did an e-commerce summer where I was learning from other sellers uh, recently. And this seller was talking about how you should always have these low bid auto campaigns running on multiple uh, products or your entire product line, maybe targeting a specific brand that you're selling as well. And I thought, you know what? I haven't really been running these low bid strategies recently because I had a lapse in, in the auto uh, setup. So I decided after watching that to go ahead and take action and set up a bunch of auto campaigns. And the one you're seeing it now on screen covers my entire catalog of 730 products that I'm selling. And wow, that is a great return. So of course, of course I need to make adjustments on this. It's only been running for about 48 hours. Today's data is not gonna be accurate, of course, but it's only been running less than 48 hours. I watched video from the e-commerce summit on Friday morning. And Friday at work, I put in some, some things into action on that. Definitely check out the auto campaign if you haven't. As you can see here, I have a default bid of 10 cents, even though Amazon's suggesting 66 cents. And you can set uh, in the placements, you can do a placement modifier. I have a 30% placement for the top of search which as you can see yielded only six impressions so that's not really working maybe i when i go to adjust that i'm gonna increase that a rest of search is where the return on investment is 244 times wow i only spent a dollar to generate 258 dollars in revenue that's pretty impressive, right? And then product pages was uh, generating 61 times return on investment. So I can pull these levers, maybe I'll increase this. I'm not gonna do it on the video because the way I make the changes is they're all tracked in another spreadsheet and I can get into that in another video, but I track everything so that I can learn from it. You know, because if you're running 700 products, you know, you're doing all the, you're running 5,000 campaigns, auto campaigns, and you're making changes, you're never gonna remember what happened a week ago. <laughs> I don't even remember what I had for dinner a week ago, right? So, you know, even remembering what you had for dinner or what you did uh, a week ago at 1 p.m., right? You, you don't remember it. So if you're running a lot of campaigns, you have to track these things. And uh, so I'm not gonna make any changes here on screen. The other thing is what I learned from the summit is negative targeting is extremely important. There's so much, so many things to do with Amazon that I think sometimes we forget about the little housekeeping things. Negative targeting is extremely important and you know, I'm gonna be looking at this campaign as this data accumulates every week and every month to negative target, okay? And then the other thing, the other part of this, so we're gonna go into the campaign is we can click on the ad group and you can see the search terms and these will be the actual customer uh, terms that were used to generate the orders okay so i can see canned macro was a search term and uh, somebody bought something and that was a great a cost and so on so you can go through the search terms and really learn what's going on and if you want to 
then you can take those search terms and generate your individual campaigns off of them. So you're gonna wanna take search terms from these auto campaigns and hyper target with exact matches, phrase matches, and even low cost bit broad match campaigns to see if you can continue to build uh, layers of sales in an efficient way. This does work. I confirm it. I think it's an amazing thing. I'm running it on the brand groups now and I'm also running it, uh, as you can see, I'm running it on the entire portfolio. So I think I have about 20 to 30 brands that I'm working on that I will set up individually as brands over the next few days. I'll continue to honor to these and I'll come back and, and report on it. So pretty interesting stuff. This is massive, massive returns on ad dollars that's what i love it, we all want to make more money and we all want to turn our products and get our capital back right so you increase inventory turn you make more money and you're literally dropping dimes you're dropping dimes in a bucket and you're getting back hundred dollar bills right <laughs> ten dollar bills maybe right so thanks for joining me today guys i hope this video encourages you to relook at your ads and make sure your ppc PPC campaigns are kicking some low bid auto campaigns in gear and crushing and increasing your sales. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.